So the last time I was in Boston, my friend Gil, who's totally a broger, or was before he deleted his Facebook, um, was just hanging out with me. We were just chilling on the roof. And Don't you mean shrekking out on the roof? Shrekking out on the roof. And he's like, dude, your shirt, it's the same shirt I'm wearing right now, is Shrek colors. Yeah, it's green and blue. Green is the obvious one, but then blue is the one a lot of people don't think about. But if you look at any of the Shrek merchandise or any of the DVD covers for any of the movies in the Shrek series, yeah, <laughs> it's all green and blue. That's the color scheme they chose for the franchise. So you're making a documentary on Shrek. This isn't just a documentary about Shrek. This is a documentary about culture, insanity, the future, the panopticon. Well, you don't own a camera. I'll just borrow a different person's camera at every step of the way. Plus, I've got an iPhone. Okay, done. In over a decade since his first appearance, Shrek has percolated in the cultural consciousness. Now, this percolation has catalyzed a new breed of Shrek superfan. One compelled to show up to life-defining events dressed as Shrek. As in the case of the infamous Shrek weddings. But who are these self-described brogers, and what is it that so compels them? An earnest, heartfelt devotion to the titular ogre? Or is it something more... subversive? Hello and welcome to the channel! Please subscribe to Broga Productions for great videos, mate! You won't find Farquaad here! Farquaad is Drake's son. To understand the history of fandom, to diagnose this social disease, it can be useful to break that history down into three distinct phases, or if you will, layers. The first of these layers being what we observed with the Harry Potter fan movement, which was good, earnest, uh, if at times regrettable, experiment in fan overindulgence. What are you talking about? <laughs> is that your real accent? Yes. Do you know where Somerset, England is? No. Then you're a liar and must be burned like the witch you are! The second layer would then be the My Little Pony fan movement. Uh, you have to tell your friends about it. And of course, you have to collect wear shirts about it too. Which, from how far some of them took it, difficult at times to tell whether it was serious or whether it was in jest. <laughs> and of course, you also have to collect the action figures. These are not mine. These are my sister's. And these are the This one's mine. Which brings us to the third and final evolution, Brogers. And with Brogers, we have the first fan movement that has achieved a self-aware parody of itself. Fascinating. Let's head inside for answers. Hi. I'm a Broger and an outspoken supporter of the Broger movement. Uh, I'm here in search of Shrek sightings, Shrektivities, Shrek experiences. if you have any to divulge. Okay. Okay. What do you want to know about Shrek? I understand there was a showing of Shrek the Musical again in Savannah this summer. What was it, this summer? Yes, yes it was this children. summer. Yep. So how was it? It was really good. I thought it was really good. I was super engaged the whole time. I thought all the leads were really strong. Yeah, Tony played Tony. Shrek in our class. Christian is going to be a junior this year in Seattle. He was Donkey. So. Okay, is he black? Yes. yes. Okay, good. I hate it when they fuck that up. I saw one uh, like YouTube video where it was a white girl playing no. Donkey, and I could, I was like, Are, no, thank you. Okay. But the songs make absolutely no sense. No. If you're not. The like songs are really good. Cats. What? To the vegetables. To the vegetables. We got them. Hey there, little buddy. You getting this? Mm-hmm. That's it right there. It's a real onion layer. Like, this, on some level, this is the inspiration. Sit tight, little buddy. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Boom! We got what we came here for. Fuck yeah. Wait, wait, hold it up again. Let's just say layers. Layers, bro. It's all about those layers.
dropping you off. What for? I'm gonna meet with some important people. Brokers or something? These aren't brokers. These are other destructives. Coming up. Oh, girls. The female Shrek fan makes her presence felt online and in the headlines. An exclusive interview with Jamie Loftus. Oh, the filming of the Broadway show. Hit subscribe for new videos 